strategically positioned itself as the preferred financial hub after it formally launched its financial center today. The Nairobi International Financial Center will enable the country to attract global firms and increase its capital flows, as Denis Otieno reports. Described as a key pillar of the Vision 2030 development blueprint, the Nairobi International Financial Center was formally unveiled. The center is expected to attract foreign businesses to Nairobi and spell out factors that will enable them thrive in the country and beyond. To achieve this, the center will prioritize four key areas, namely green finance, financial technology, investment funds, and creating conditions for more multinationals to make Nairobi their regional headquarters. We have seen more international private equity firms stepping up their focus and investing in Kenyan businesses, a clear indication of investor confidence. Our goal now is to raise the profile of Nairobi on the global investment radar and create the conditions to scale this growth to new heights. As a target, the center hopes to attract investments totaling more than $2 billion or roughly 236 billion shillings by the year 2030. The strength and attractiveness of Kenya's financial sector is evident in the growth and expansion of our banks in the larger East African region, as well as the ICT-driven innovation and the agility of the financial services sector to mobile money with increasing opportunities emerging across the continent. With Nairobi strategically placed as a leading financial hub in the region, the center will create a key role in enabling Kenya create opportunities to mobilize domestic and international savings and investments. Head of Public Service Joseph Kenya acknowledged this as he represented President Uhuru Kenyatta, who was slated as the chief guest. And the Nairobi International Financial Center has been designed as an efficient and predictable business environment, which we expect to give more confidence to the large pools of global capital that have been watching our progress but have not yet taken the decision to invest. Companies certified by the center stand to benefit from a raft of incentives. For instance, firms operating a carbon market exchange or emission trading system under the NIFC will benefit from 15% corporate tax for the first 10 years of operation. So far, Global Insurer Prudential PLC has been certified by the center with more firms expected to join the fray. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.